G'day Luke from Drifter here and uh, Tuesday morning, sun's out, had a bit of rain overnight and it's a beautiful morning and uh, just sort of realised we haven't done a video of the dot shed for a while, I was up there yesterday and the place is just pumping, there's trails everywhere and a lot of stuff happening and uh, yeah I mean, we just haven't had a chance for a while I suppose, you know it's um, not an easy business to run the dot factory and um, we've been so busy every day you know we're flat out hard to keep track of it all. Anyway, I thought we might see if we can't duck up there this morning, just have a little walk around, see what's happening, um, and show you a few of the new things we're doing. Um, yeah, we've got our little walk up, six foot walk up behind us, we did come the front, it's out camping on the weekend with it, and awesome setup. I mean, we've done so much R&D on these trailers for a long time, and it's just all come together, really. Uh, the Ubco in the front is so cool, eh? Like having that drawbar, the space in the drawbar for push bikes, this little motorbike is brilliant. We were on, got the bike off and uh, just was able to ride around and explore, which is really cool. And registered too, so you go down the shops, we rode all over the place, so that was cool. Um, so we might just walk up and have a look at a few things on the way. Might walk past Ty, see what he's doing, Jake. But also, there's a brand new trailer down here, just been finished, so we'll have a look at this one, see what it is. See if Jake can keep up. So he's got 242, 342. Uh, our standard walk-up hardtop, this is a leaf sprung, so we're doing a lot more leaf sprung trails now on these walk-up hardtop versions. Okay, so, um, we did release this initially just as uh, independent. And the independent's a great setup, but it adds a lot of money. And you know, we're talking 46,000, something like that, you know, for a basic price. But that's 46 grand, that's got everything on it. Like, there's hardly anything to add on there. Lithium and everything on there. Now, you know, you can build the same trial for 20, you know, but it's just all the extras. Plumbing you get the BMS and the lithium and the uh, air tank and all the extras, it just all adds up, okay? So, but that's a very complete package. These hard shell rooftop tents are awesome. Biggest rooftop tent on the market. And, uh, but a lot of people are still looking for, you know, a bit of a cheaper version. So what we've done is we've released the leaf sprung version of the walk up hardtop. And, I mean, we've been killing it lately with sales on those. I mean, three, three quarters of the sales have been these, these style. Um, so, We'll show you some of those up there. Jogga system's working brilliant. I mean, we've covered everything in these trails now. The electrical system, the water system, this is all new. Had that for a while, that's working great. Everything's tested. You see there, 21st of six, top temperature 50 degrees. So we've tested everything, we've pressure tested the system. All ready to go. This will be picked up soon. We've got the handrail come up here. And I um, mean, you know, a trail like this is maybe not sure, probably around 35, okay? So the, in, the, the leaf sprung saves about 3,000 bucks, I think it is, on the trailer. But then, you know, if you don't put the lithium in and you um, don't put the BMS in, the Red Arc TVMS system, you know, there's another 5,000 bucks or something like that. So it can, you can easily spec the trailer down. And with our dots too, we can, you can get them back here any time and spec them back up again. And we do a lot of those, so. Anyway, great little trailer ready to be picked up. These hard shells are so good. We'll show you what's happening up there. Right Jake, let's keep going. Yeah, so much going on here. Dot is building kitchen drawers, ladder, canvas, trailers, selling a lot of stuff on our retail dispatch and Anyway. Huh? Work on last and beach. So Kai's got a walk about it seems. But uh, we've been busting to do a video in here for a while. We just haven't had a chance. So much going on. But uh, this place is really booming with what we're doing. And uh, 
you Donna. Hi. Premium Hi. bags going off. We're really struggling to keep up with those, but I've got um, getting the girls to do the rivets as well. So I basically end up with three people riveting full time, almost four. So I'm um, setting up another one of the machines up the top. We bought another one of these. And um, yeah, no, we'll come back here when Kai's here and show you everything what we do, but we've sort of uh, got a bit of work to sort this out yet. So anyway, let's keep going. Might walk through the new shed, JK. What do you reckon? All right. Look at my little flag. <laughs> There's my new flag. The old flag uh, wore itself out, so I got that one up for a little while. This is our new shed. We haven't done a walk around for this either, but we'll just do a quick walk through because this is going to be a dog video. Do a quick walk through and we'll come back and do a detailed look of what's happening here later. section so lots going on in 12 volt and this is one of our rooftop tents for getting uh, carpet lines so we're bringing those down here to get that done big vans vans truck fit outs we're doing four fit outs every day just um, full on in here so this so lucky to have this new shed we made couldn't do it without it hey camo Good. Go, Ross. Yeah, good. Keep up with it. Oh, yeah. Go on, too. Go on, yeah. <laughs> so, dispatch is in here. It's been cold, so everyone's got the doors closed. We need to toughen up a bit. Hello, Nikki. Hi, Luke. You get that on purpose. You know I hate you. Hey, what? This is my friend Nikki. She's Hello. The main dispatch wrapper. Does all the freebies. You do all the all the freebie handouts, don't you? Yes, I do. Nikki and loves my competitions, them. especially when we're flat out and we've got to hand out 100 free items. Anyway, this is where we do all our wrapping and packing. So you can see heaps of stuff here this morning. A lot of stuff's already wrapped. So you know, it's 10 o'clock now. Most things are sort of, all the easy stuff's already wrapped. We fill two of those a day, so big job, you know, wrapping. How you going, Kai? Good, you been looking for you, mate, and you were bloody AWOL. What's going oh, on? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I've been up for Everyone wants to see Zach now. Yeah. <laughs> You're the man. Out. <laughs> we'll come back later on. Yeah. Um, very complicated here in Dispatch now because we sell so many different things, and uh, a lot of the orders. It's hard to send out next day because uh, a lot of custom canvas is being made, so we're waiting on canvas. Stuff coming from all around the world, so difficult to sort of, um, with shipping times and different delays, it's hard to keep stock of everything, but doing our best. And, um, you know, we've got more staff on here now to sort of let people know what's going on, but yeah, there's a lot, lot going on. We've got a very wide variety of things that we sell here. Anyway, we'll have another good look at dispatch a little bit later on. Thanks, Diggy. So, this is the dog factory, and we'll have a bit of a look around some of the trailers. This is Beach's new family walk up rooftop tent. Um, he's been using this a lot, he's loving it, his wife and family, so it's been great. We've got it back here today because we're fitting out the next one, the second one. We've done a lot of changes, a lot of mods, and we're just sort of going to um, get a few positions of the struts and a few things 
work out because um, there's so much involved in making a new product. So we've got that back here just for the day to sort of copy off some of the detail. This is a little base trailer that we've sort of done up. It's coming back for a few repairs. Um, I'm not even sure. That's a yeah, a small. Looks like a seven base trailer. 95. 095 and we've come back to do a few little things so we're doing a lot of work on the older dots a lot of upgrades uh, that's a good thing with drifter of course you can send them back here anytime if you want it any of the new upgrades you could literally turn this trailer here into this trailer here okay we can't change the suspension but we can change the top deck we can put the canopy we can change the top frame we can put the family rooftop tent on we can put the front toolbox on we can do almost anything on the trailers so a lot of people doing that which is great All right, what do we got here? So, this is another leaf sprung walk up hardtop. I would say we're just waiting on the tent. These colours are uh, pretty standard now. We're looking really good with the colours. Uh, this sort of graphite, sort of grey. And we've been doing the tents in a two tone as well. So, uh, yeah, that one's very close to going out. Uh, this one here. Another, it's an independent seven foot trailer. So walk up hard top, but in a seven foot trailer, independent suspension. So you can see we've got same canopy. This will have the rooftop tent as well. And uh, this got also independent. So it's just a longer canopy, a little bit longer trailer. It adds about a thousand bucks to create from the six foot walk up to the seven foot walk up. And it's just a longer canopy, a bit extra for the canopy and a bit extra for the longer trailer. Apart from that, it's exactly the same. So I think this might be the second or third one we've done in the walk-up in a seven foot. But they're pretty cool because I think this family's got three children and just need the extra space. So seven foot version is a pretty good option. No problems to, to do that. Uh, this trailer here is an older one. Really old one, got 48. Okay, so good example too. This will be four or five years old, this trailer. Uh, been well used in Queensland, and we've put a brand new hard shell rift up tent on top here. So, just getting fitted now. Uh, we're a little bit behind on the tents. We got behind on, on these, a couple of weeks behind in production, because more and more people are buying them. And uh, we've changed the way we fitted the tent. We've done so many mods on these. But now they're coming out just perfect. Have a look in there. Um, so in this version here, we've just um, put the little boxes on the front. You can see that. Come on this side, Joe. With a little step up there. Look at that, straight in, no ladder. Okay. So there's our two step boxes there. We've got sort of some covering over these. We don't want to get these dirty. For the customers but that box comes off there such a good little setup walk straight up and uh, this used to have a Hannibal on, t on top I'm pretty sure so the Hannibal's come off and we've gone with the uh, walk up uh, this trailer here is um, Dan and Kylie's from uh, Brisbane so this is one of the one of the very first walk up high tops I think the third one third or fourth one Kylie's now working in our shop in Brendale, so um, this has been on display in the shop for a little while. It's just come back to get a few small repairs, a little bit of paint work on the back of the shell. And just in the shop, there was a couple of poles broken, and uh, we've got a new one up there now, a new, brand new version for the shop. So this has come back for a few little repairs. Almost done, and we're gonna ship that back up there again. All right, so let's have a look in, let's have a look with Jace first, eh? There we go, mate. Good day, So, what are you working on? Is this, this is not the family, is it? No. No, this is um, the carriers. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so you're going to swap that over like we talked about on that seven-footer? 
Yeah, we're building a whole new yeah, yeah, yeah. area, and yeah. the areas tent that we had built for them is now Comerflux. We went through the buildings. Yeah, cool. And, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. It was just right. easier just to build yeah. a whole new tent. Yeah. Oh, knock and we're getting a um, good little routine going in now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting it all organised and um, yeah, starting to. It's been great having you up here, for sure. It's been great having you up here. You've had a lot of experience fitting out the last few years with Beachy, so yeah. putting all that good experience to use. So yeah. Jason's sort of taken over in here, um, getting everything. And we, I mean, we're just about really pumping these out like a production line now. Very, very close. So, you know, it's, take, it's, it's taken 12 months of uh, R&D and muck around. It's not just designing the product, it's tweaking it and getting it better and better. And when you've got a big shell and tin, all that coming together, and then also it's putting it together, the system how you put these together has been improved a hundred times and we're almost there with it. We've got a new, um, a new system putting the, the tent onto the shell, we're using some sail track and it's, uh, but that all means changes with the shells, change the design, change the tent, it's a big process. So this is that second family, Jase, that's that second family come through with it? Sorry? This is the second family one? That's no, that, uh, yeah, we'll be after beaching. Yeah. So where are we up to on that? You got the top, the lid done. You and Johnny going to start putting this together? Oh, this is the base for it, is it? This is the base for it. The base for it's all done, um, as in wired up and ready to go. Yeah. Um, we did the ceiling panels for the for the lid this morning. Ah, okay. Uh, for this one, and also did a couple of extras for the next one. Yeah. Cool. Um, and of course we've got beaches out there and we've been practicing and forwards, taking measurements and that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, well we should be mucking around with this this afternoon, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and I think me and uh, Johnny are going to go down to Newcastle tomorrow and look at some gas trucks, just yeah. get those all sorted. So yeah. we'll, um, we'll probably do that then. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the second family. This is it here. There's a new tent. We've been through, I've got the guy making the shells up here, we've got Kaido, we've got the guy making the canvas, Jace, the crazy dog, all together a few months back and we redesigned the whole thing, worked at all our tweaks with Beachy because he knew, he knows more than anybody now with the family on how best to set it up and all the little things you need fixing. I mean it works great but of course there's so much we can do to tweak it so that's all coming together on this one and um, we'll show you more once that all goes together. Here's another one. Yeah, uh, ready to go. Solar on top. We're changing the solar a little bit. Um, and yeah, but you can see the two tone. We're doing that a lot now. Wrapped on the bottom and the charcoal graphite on the top. Looks really nice. Breaks it up a little bit. And uh, that's working good. You're working over here now, Megan, are you? No. You're doing it's the um, LED lights? Oh, I wish. <laughs> Not that difficult. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to show you more of this little area too soon. My dad, John, everyone's getting to know John. He basically works up in here and he does a lot of electrical gear. So, he's a technician from way back and um, he's our electrical expert. So, basically, we're taking the LED light poles or the clip on poles, we, we get those from um, Brisbane. And we turn them, turn them into those. That's obviously a longer one, but we make these ourselves. So we insert the light, put all the bits together, test them, and um, so we'll show you more on that a little bit later. But the big process here, building all these lights, we're making a lot of different types. The uh, these light poles are something we're starting to get into. Look at that. Right, so there's no battery it needs to be plugged in. But that's a really nice tent pole. This is the longer version that's good for the RV, for the Oz tent. So uh, a long tent pole and uh, got the LED light inside. So I believe that's the only one in the world as a LED light pole. Um, we're sort of making them under license for John, the guy who holds the patent. All right, let's have a look in. Well, I we might go into fab first, and then we'll come back into the fitting. Uh, this one's been all painted up. S Prime, independent, savvy. So uh, all been S Prime. So stand it back, ready for top coat. 
and also steam sealing underneath. building at the moment and uh, me, Kaido and Dad are going to head over to Simpson Desert in about a month's time we're going to tow this trailer, leaf front trailer and once we finish with this trailer so we're going to take it over to Simpson Desert There's about 10 of us going, a bit of a mate's trip, Rich McDonald's coming and Shano again so it's going to be pretty cool and when we're done we're going to hire this trailer out so I'm not sure if we'll base it here in Gloucester or we'll base it ex Brisbane but we're going to be able to hire it out as you can buy it, you can hire it It'll uh, have the, the rooftop head on like a walk up, and uh, more news on that coming up soon. So, but these trails are uh, basically completed in the welding stage, ready for a uh, ready, ready to get cleaned up basically. We've got a little bit of bog here over some welds. We want to get that looking really nice at the back section. We don't want any you know, uh, welding marks or cracks or holes. So a bit of bomb, they're going to get all cleaned up. Get a, a bottom floor in there. Go in there getting first coated, top coated and out. So. There's a lot going on down here, but uh, Craig's away at the moment, so he's flat out here making stuff for retail. All about parts and things, but yeah, he's just away for a week or two, so not a lot happening here, but that plasma cut is normally going flat out. Who's in there? Ah, he's wrong, Kenny. Oh, no. <laughs> Work experience, kid. How you going, mate? What are you up to? What? What are you up to? Oh, yeah. You can roll, can you? Where are you from? Oh, yeah. Anyway. You're here for a week, are you? Yeah. Oh, cool. So you're doing all these, eh? Did you fabricate these parts up or bend them up? No, I didn't do that. Yeah, I've been bending the comment loads. Yeah. Oh, right, cool. So you're here all week, eh? And uh, what year are you in? Twelve. Oh, yeah. What are you doing next year? I think we're all right. We might do a bit of work in the holidays just so we know you come back. Yeah, I'm going to go on. Yeah, thank you. Bye, good on you. How are we going, fellas? New repairs? Yeah, all right. How's the aluminium going? This is going right. Nice, isn't it? Right there. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh yeah? You did that did you? Yeah, yeah. Alright. So Jack's starting to do aluminium now because uh, he's been riding trailers, what, four years or something? Yeah. Qualified now, aren't you? Yeah. The guy who's welding aluminium uh, has, has moved on, he left, and uh, so Jack's picked this up and he's learning to weld aluminium now, so uh, lucky that he can do that. He's got a good job too, looks at it. Oh, you're just starting, but uh, yeah, there, perfect, eh? So what's going on down in here? Much happening? This is crazy, isn't it? 
We've got a uh, another chassis. I mean, they just keep coming the trailers. Six foot uh, leaf sprung. You know, there's more leaf sprung trailers coming through, Levy. Yeah. So since that uh, video we did up north of Richard's trailer, we've got a lot more equipped sales come through with the uh, lift sprung, which is great. So uh, yeah, it's sold us quite a few lately, so keep the show on eh? That's what we want to do, mate, keep us all going. Well, let's have a look down your end, eh? Hope you got it all tidied up, Jack. Yeah? I reckon Jack's got probably the neatest metal work Little bay in Australia. What do you reckon? Well, it's flat out working. Another place. It's much cleaner than my bedroom. So, what have you been doing, Subframe? Oh yeah. So you're doing parts this week and aluminium, are you? Yeah. Cool. And you doing the aluminium in here, or are you doing it in there? I'm doing it here. Have you? Oh yeah. Getting the machine fixed up, wasn't there something wrong with it? Was it out of gas or something? Or was it still oh, there? yeah, I think so. Yeah. Cool. Oh, well. Good job, mate. Good. Alright, that's Jack's little work off. Hey, look at this factory, eh? Hey? Look how these boys keep this place. You have a look at any other trailer manufacturer in Australia, anyone else in Australia, and see if it's as neat and tidy as this here. It's really important because uh, your workplace is tidy, your workshops are tidy, and if your workplace is organised, the work you're working on is organised, and it's very important. And the way they've got this here is looking so good. Very happy with it. Alright, Scotty? Where's, um... Oh, mate. Probably. Yeah. You around? Oh, he's back in again. He would have been out the back filling his gun again. Yeah. So, so the top keeping up with the boys, are you? Oh, yeah. I need this one here next day. Stop, bro. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of prep work in them, eh? Yeah. How long does it take, you reckon, to go from this to ready for top coat? Ready for top coat? Yeah, like, like seeing it up and uh, ready for it to top coat. Yeah. 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 A lot of work in prep, you know. You spend a lot of time underneath and cleaning it right up, so. Cool, mate. See you, Lewis. Mm. Very good. Thanks, Tony. Well. Alright, so that's the fabrication side and this is the fitting side. <coughs> what are you doing up there? Making it stronger. Really? That's been approved, hasn't it? Uh, that council approved? Yeah, mate. Yeah? And put a post there, post them in the post again. Good. Yep. We love council approval. So, done a lot of work in here in the last six months. Cleaning up, tidying up, reorganising, because as the trail has changed, the car's been specced up with the independent and all the electrical and that changes a lot of things in our sort of warehouse side of things and um, it's running great at the moment. See what Dave's up to. Here you go mate. Good. What do you got a BMS front in there? Yeah, uh, uh, two BMS in there but he wants an unregulated solar. Yep. Is that Nico? Uh, Robertson. What we should do is get Kaido, we can get Kaido to make up a little tag on his laser machine that says unregulated in. Because it's important to label that, eh? You know? so, so that's not going through the BMS? No. Okay. Oh, yes, it will go through the BMS. It, I'll wire it up through the earth on yeah. the BMS, so it'll register the current. Yeah. That's the nut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unknown current. Well, can you just write down what you want on the label and I'll get Kaido to make a label up for you? Yep. And it's done. You got quite that number, haven't you? Yeah. No, I haven't, but I'm getting down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do that, eh? Yep. And it, I kind of can do that easy, eh? So any of those little labels we need, we can get you to knock them out, eh? Yeah. And just rivet it on. That'd be good. 
Yeah, so Dave's done all our red arc wiring. And what sort of trail is this? Must be a pretty much standard walk up hard top. Oh, this is the family, I think, isn't it? This will have the family with top 10 on it, yeah. I think so. So, getting very close. And, uh, I mean, yeah, the production on these is really uh, getting sorted now. It's been a massive process trying to get it all so we can streamline production because um, streamlining production is so important. You know, you can get bogged down in here so easily and that just kills your time and that blows out everything. So, it's just running so good at the moment. Dock 347. Again, almost done. We've got... Can I have a look in here, Jake? We've got also TVMS going in here. Um, battery TVMS, BMS going in, so kitchens make up all our boards for us. We've, we've redone a lot of this as well, so we've got, uh, you know, uh, nice boards that we fix into the box. Um, so that's another independent. We've got this, you can see the little uh, entertainment panel back here, very popular with the new shelves. Uh, it's got to have the backing on it, so that's got our TV mess. Great little unit, these. That'll be uh, getting wired up soon. Kitchen may not be in yet, but it's not far away. Uh, kitchen's not in. So we've got the rails in ready to go and ready for rooftop tents. Hey Dave, I was thinking the other day, right, whether we should put a, uh, a little vent panel in here. We should because I had one going the other day. Uh, what's today? Tuesday, Friday. And it was up to 31 degrees in there. Inside here. Yeah. The battery was 26. But with this going charging flat out, yeah. the temperature sensor says 31 in there. Yeah. Because we got some, um, you know, on the kitchen there's a little vent at the back yeah. of the kitchen. One of those would be great. But it's just a matter of where can we put it, you know. Uh, well, it well, what about on the top here? No, because that'll get burnt and stuff in it. No, because this here is pretty. Yeah, the people put stuff on it, and then a little bit of floor in there. Yeah. Because they haven't got a lot of room. You can't put it on the box yeah, itself really because we want to just air it into here, really. Yeah. Um, it might, uh, what about a small, what about a very small electrical fan? Well that'd be good, but you'll need, you'll need another um, outlet to sort of suck the air in and around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it just about the same size. That would be good for it would get quite warm with someone. Yeah, can. yeah. I yeah. was thinking too whether we look at getting some insulation on top of, you know, this stuff here. Yeah. I reckon we should put a piece of that here on the later inside, on, yeah. just on top, because that'll help you walk on it. Yep. And uh, that'll help. That's quite insulating, you know. Yep. And um, so it's something we might look at doing yeah, shortly. No, you don't want anything on the outside because all yeah. that does suck dust. What about a small electrical fan? Yes. And then we put a um, a cupboard vent on this side. We've got yes, a little cupboard vent creature's got. Yeah. Doesn't need to be big. It just needs something to circulate the air out. Yeah. In yeah. And then we all can right. put it wherever because. Depending on the battery, yeah, like that's a right, yeah. 200 ampere one, the battery runs that way on this yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then just drill a hole in that, drill a hole there, and yes. just straight in. That'd be easy. We'll look at doing that. Yeah. Um, Jake, we'll have to see if you can get on some uh, little small electrical fans. Might be something to do. Right, dot 355. So, how you going, Graham? Excellent. Let's have a quick look. Little leaf sprung, eh? Yep. Got a lot more leaf sprungs now, aren't we? A lot more. What do you reckon the ratio is now for the last few weeks? Uh, the last few weeks, probably 60 40 on leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I reckon. Ah, it's good. Good little trailer and uh, good to get back into them again. So, yeah. the video we did up the page helped a lot. Yeah. Everyone's seen the richest trailer getting dragged around, which is good. You handled that really good. I wish that video last night, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good age. So this water system's all settling in pretty well. Yep. Yeah. That's just what's going. Just going to couple of the 
walk on, along this one, so we don't have as much room. Yeah. Gives you a bit of aluminium tube. That's the guy. Some well away from the tyres. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. So yeah, we've got this new system. We've got hot water to the back here. It's all plumbing pipe. So very expensive fittings. These sometimes these fittings are 40, 50 bucks a piece. You know. Um, so we've got water running here from the new Joker set up there, all the way back to the kitchen. So you just connect it up here for the kitchen. It's really simple. That's working great. We've got hot water back here, and um, just show you. Uh, thanks, Ben. Hey Steve, quick have a quick look what you're doing. Quick have a quick look what you're doing down here. So, this is Steve-O and he's been working in fit out. He was working at Legs for a fair while, he? and now yep. smashing it out in here. Been really appreciative having Steve's experience in here. has um, helped a lot in our systems and how we put all this together, especially this complicated plumbing system. So, they all get fitted out here. And you can see up in here, there's a lot going on in there, and this new system we've sort of been doing lately is working great. Now that we've got all sort of set out properly, it's good, yeah. going good, isn't it? Yeah. You want to show us what the little manifold you got up there? So we've really got this to stage of production line, which is where you've got to be with, with um, building stuff. So Steve's making these up on the bench now, ready to go, and then just plug them straight in, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Much quicker. A lot of work going on there. Right? This manifold, we make that up ourselves. The parts in that piece alone, we've been selling a few of those. That's worth 400 bucks, just that piece there. And how long does it take you to put that together? Uh, an hour. Yeah. A good hour. Yeah. And these pieces here, I think they're 70 bucks each. I don't know what I'm saying. 70 bucks, yeah. 140. All brass. So we've painted that black, but it's all brass fittings and these taps. And this stuff here is expensive too, eh? So this is really good American made plumbing stuff. So. Oh, yeah. Ready to cool. go, it's all sealed, no leaks. Yeah, so you uh, test them like that too, don't I'm you? I'm getting a, about a 99% um, yeah. rate on them now. Look at that, no a lot of work in that. So what are you using to seal now? We had problems for a while, didn't we? Yeah. It's the right thread tape. Using the thread tape. Yeah. Um, put plenty of that on, make sure you get the fitting right in the right position. Yeah. Um, That's important, isn't it? Because there's a lot of angles in there too, isn't there? Oh, yeah. And yeah. all that. Yeah, they've got to be set right. So you've got to tighten them up so they're just yep. at the right angle yep. when they're tight, isn't it? So, yeah, yep. very good. Uh, it's um, working out a lot better than it was. And, uh, Made up here. Yeah. We've got plenty of them. So it's a, it's a really good setup for the trailer, eh? Where you can suck from the external source. I have seen a similar system before in a trailer on Aussie Swag, I think you used to do it. I don't think anybody's doing it now, but to be able to suck from an external source and direct where the water's going is a massive advantage with two, two water tanks. Having two tanks and directing the water around is quite complicated and you can see that there. I had a really clever plumber from Brisbane come up with this idea, come down and he taught us how to do it and now we've implemented that. And there's no way we, well, I couldn't have come up with that, but um, yeah, yeah, it's, pretty clever. it's hard yeah. enough just putting it in. And you're getting all the battery stuff ready? Yep. <coughs> so lights in there and ready to go for Dave to start putting in his um, TVMS, BMS stuff. So this is now, we used to do this on the trailer a while back. Yeah. Anyway, now we're doing them all here. Uh, got some stock ahead of us. And also the airbag stuff, so yeah. the controller. So a lot happening in here as well. There's a little gas strut we'll connect to there. But this is what Jack, Jack was fabricating up next door. Not totally finished, but uh, we've got the compressor in there and the air tanks. I think it's 11, 11 litres per minute. 11, 11 litre tank, I think, or 10 litre tank. Yeah, I'm not sure what they are. And you can see the tank in there. It's a fair size. Yeah. <coughs> so handy having that tank, right? So um, without the tank, the airbag's quite slow to pump up and down because you're only relying on, on the pump itself. But that's a good little system. The controls are there. We've got air out so you can use to pump up the tyres. I was doing that the other day. It's so handy yeah. having that air out with the, with the um, little tank. So a great little system. And that's ready also just to, to bolt straight on, pretty much. What I've done on this, I've gone to the flat aluminium rather than the checker plate. Just trying to get away a little bit from that checker plate. I mean, checker plates are quite a bit stronger. And in some places we need to use it, but <clears throat> where we can, I'm just going back to a bit of flat. So that's why these are 
So a lot going on in this little corner of the shed, but you've got to run on beautiful Steve, so you can see how organised we are now. Um, Ross has done a lot of work down here, getting this all tidied up and organised, but because we've sort of finished or got to the end of our R&D on these, we can now really tweak this set up and get it working and really humming along. So, so that's we're so important, like I'm saying, where you've got to be that where you can just get these things you know, built and fabricated in the right time frames. And uh, instead of, it's a comp I mean, people have said, oh, it's just a box trailer, you know, with a toolbox in the front. People have made that comment a fair bit, but when you look right into it, they're a very complicated trailer to make. They've got a, you know, a plumbing system that's um, unique and same sort of stuff you'd see on, on a house. Um, all pressure tested, we've got the TVMS electrical system, you know, the air and the air tank and the, all the in independent um, suspension system, the kitchens, the fridge, the batteries, there's so much going on in these trailers, so uh, this one's got the red sort of trim, looks pretty good. How are we going Brad? That red looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, Brett's uh, the fit out manager and um, yeah, we're going pretty well at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. Having a good run. Yeah, we're going Boys are all going good and uh, everyone knows that they're doing so that's good. Yeah. Got some orders coming through, plenty of orders come through again now, so no, that's, that's been handy. Just waiting on tents a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, so we're basically going to a point now, they're ready to go without the tents. So. Yeah. Well Jason will catch up pretty quick, so yeah, no, he's going off. a bit short on the cams for a little for a few weeks and the family held up a little bit, but once yep. you get that family out we'll be yeah, well, right again. The so. there in front, it's ready for it, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, mate. Very good. Oh, no worries. Yeah, so most of these are ready to go, waiting for the rooftop tents. Um, so good to be getting towards the end of the R&D on these. It's so much work. All right. <coughs> I want to quickly say good day. This is our old mate Johnny, so he's uh, sort of taking over my role up here. So I'm just so busy and I've always got to, got to keep moving ahead and I do a lot of, so many different things, you know. So Johnny's sort of taken over with my management role with Dot, which has been bloody life so for me. So he's only new here. He's been here for a while. jason has been working here. Johnny's been working here maybe 12 months, have you? Yeah. I'd say, doing the rooftop tents. So yeah. Johnny sort of started and got us going on the rooftop tents. And now we've got Jason in here, so Johnny's been able to come and do my job. So he's working with Katrina, taking care of all the, all the stuff that goes on in that, you know, customer inquiries, customer issues, um, keeping all these boys working right, keeping all the workflow happening. So it's a big yep. job, basically solving problems. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. So, you know, Johnny's got, he's on the email now, dot service, and uh, people who've got an issue with the trailer or a warranty problem or your question or uh, refits, doing a lot of refits as well. So, yeah, sort of, on the yeah, so Johnny's sort of looking after all those and um, working half in the office, looking after that, and half out here solving problems. So, no, sure. it's going great, mate. I'm so happy to have you on the team doing doing that role because you know, it's just can't do everything. And, um, you basically know what's going on now, don't you? You know, you've pretty much got a good handle on what's happening, and um, yeah, you've seen it all. Here. You were doing a lot of refits too, which is good, so that teaches you a lot of what's going on, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, For sure. Um, anyway, now you know, Joy. Thank you, mate. All right, we might surprise Katrina and see if she um, will say hello. Hello, Katrina. Oh, how are you going? Good. This is Jacob. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so, we just said good day to everyone. And is this for Marissa? Yeah. yeah, I was going to talk to Joe about that. Yeah, I think just leave for a week or two. It's only dripping a fraction. I think they'll take up, but I'll talk to Johnny about oh, that. Well, what's she, that? Um, oh, yeah. That's the cutlery tray that was. Paula, she needs yeah. those. Yeah, Jeez. she's been going camping in a week on yeah. the weekend, so she wanted something for the yeah, weekend. Yeah. So okay. I'm I was going to think to her. Um, we've got a customer just with a couple of little drips out of a few of these. These are, you know, new, uh, very good quality. Um, what do you call them? On off sort of spouts. We, we had some before that weren't, were, were dripping a little bit and these were, haven't had any problems with them, no. have we? But this one is a fraction. Really good 
clamps as well, but uh, I think, yeah, that'll take up after a little while, but yeah. we'll send that down Just and see if we can case. chuck it on. Yeah. Well, there's something else too, wasn't there? Must be, it was all sorted. It was just this, really. Yeah, yeah. I think John did want to chat. You can to see you here, know. I'll talk to John. Mm -hmm. Got a photo through with a couple of little drip points. So, uh, Johnny's onto that straight away. It's what I used to do, or Petrina struggled to do because it's very technical, a lot of this stuff, Petrina, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. So, Petrina owns, Petrina owns a dot six equip built into a walk up. So, yes, yeah. you've done the refit yeah. like a lot of other people. And, it's the um, best thing. <laughs> Loving that, yeah, uh, absolutely. loving that mattress, eh? Yeah, oh, better than my bed at home. Yeah, it's really good. How's the electric blanket the other day? Oh, that, yeah, good. that's a winner. Yeah. That's a winner. We're going to sell them heaps there, mate. Mm. Hope you're ordering heaps of them, Jake. Yeah. yeah. So, between us, the test, we give them an electric blanket to try out, and it was working well. So I was surprised how little uh, energy it drew out of the battery, which was really yeah. good. Did you have it on all night? Yeah, in the yeah. end. <laughs> David did, of course. And, um, Dave would have loved that, I'm sure, as well. <laughs> I need, I didn't get an email from Gordon Wood, eh? No. That email didn't come through. So I will take that. I've got to ring that guy. Yep. Did you send it I to I did you? send it to oh, you. Oh, cool. Okay. I need and to I found Murray's number as well. I'll leave that if you can. Yep. I don't need that. Yep. Anyway, Katrina is looking after the office. So this is basically my desk. Look that little snappy tail. I've been in business 20 years. I suppose I'm the CEO of this company. 95 staff and this is my desk. <laughs> what stuff's all over it. Anyway, um... That's all I need, I suppose. But me and Petrina up here every day, so much work in Dot A, like it's a lot of work, you know. We get quotes through, I'm doing most of the sales, and then uh, once we pretty much get the customer organised for sales, hand it to we get the quotes, yeah. and it's, you know, a lot of tweaking with the quotes in the customer oh, definitely. changing yeah. around, suiting themselves, yeah. adding this, taking out that, adding in retail, it's, it's a lot of work, you know. Because every trailer is built to order and it's a bespoke trailer, there's a mm. lot of. Yeah. A lot of um, follow up to, to go through. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty, we've got some really nice standard sort of setups with the 6, 7 and independent, but there's still, still colours and a lot of modifications Just can be done, bits, you know. Yeah. I mean, we don't change big things, but a lot of wheels and tyres and yeah. there's and amazing, um, um, yeah, yeah, 12 volt plug here, and extra USB mm -hmm. there, those sort of things. So they're all a lot of work. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. and then so between us, so looks after all that, keeps in contact with customers, lets them know where the build's up to, we sort of Keep in contact during the build where we're up to, so you sort of see what's happening. Sending photos. Uh, keeping up with a, a bit of a payment schedule and then liaising when they're picking up. So it's a, it's a lot of work in it. And yeah. then uh, all of the retrofits. We're right? really a bit oh, low on retrofits, but you've got a couple over there. Yeah, yeah. So these are retrofits. Um, Matt said there was something we had to sort yeah, out Yeah, that's why it's on my desk. I'm having another look at it. Okay. So we've got a couple here at the moment. This one's come to almost 20 grand for retrofits. It's an old trailer that's come back. And it's um, $20,000. a lot of work going, getting done on it. Lithium and the new walk-up tent, that sort of thing. The new Juke toolbox. Very common mod we do. Probably the most common mod on a standard dot is a 10 grand upgrade on a yep. Juke box, rooftop tent, new plumbing system, yep. I'd say, pretty en much. Suite. It's about 10 grand, the ensuite. And that transforms an old 20 grand sort of army yep. into, plus the awning. Yep. You know, a lot of the army's getting upgraded. The army had the, re had the re panel rooftop tent and the rear 180 awning, so we're taking that off, the side awning, rooftop tent, converting it to walk up and spending 10 grand, and you've got your 25 grand trailer maybe turn into yeah. you know, a new walk up hardtop. Uh, and we can do that pretty easy. Yeah, well, I won't say easy, but we do it. We do it. A couple more of those coming through. Yep. So Morgan, you've got him sorted? Yeah, a couple questions of prices there I need from you. Oh yeah. When I finish this, I'll come yes. back and I'll go for both those with you. Yep. All right, thank you, Peter. No worries. We've got a great team here. It's going so well. I'm so lucky we've got an awesome team at the moment. You know, uh, staff are everything, of course. And, um, oh, we've just got a great crew at the moment. 